Hello everyone, this is Black Queen Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for the collective. Collective meaning all signs, so this is for the collective. Um, collective, please, oh, this is the weekend reading, so the weekend, August the 26th to the 28th, 2022. So, collective, please keep in mind that the reading, it may or may not resonate with you. Some parts of the reading might resonate, other parts of the reading might not. As well, keep in mind that time it is fluid. I'm going to just leave that alone. Keep in mind that time it is fluid, so this reading can manifest this weekend. It can manifest later on down the line of time after the weekend. Or this present reading could be past energy for you. If this present reading is past energy for you, then there might be answers or closure for you in this present reading pertaining to your past situation or circumstance. So I got a message on a pre-shuffle. And the message that I got was... Um, Collective, you you could be dealing with a, a spirituality hater. Collective, somebody could be hating on your spirituality. Um, collective, somebody don't like the fact that you have evolved. You have become a better person. Um, somebody don't like the fact, Collective, that you evolved. You have become a better person. Um, somebody don't like the fact that you're more spirit. You're um, you're spiritual. Maybe you could be more more so spiritual than religious or something like that or somebody just don't like your spirituality your beliefs your opinion concerning spiritual things and things like that somebody is a spirituality hater um collective i don't know who you was in the past or how you was living your life in the past but i kind of picked up collective um of course collective you could have been Behaving like a karmic, very low vibrational. Somebody could have been being very materialistic in the past. Um, somebody was also living their life full of guilt. So somebody was very low vibrational, very materialistic. But this person was living their life from a place of guilt. They were They felt guilty. So I guess you covered up your guilt with material things. Or you wanted people to believe that you had something concerning material things or your lifestyle or something like that. But collective, you got over that aspect of your life and somebody is hating on you because you're in your true, you're walking in your true authentic, you're being your true authentic self. Um, you don't have to be fake and phony no more. Um, collective, you've learned that it's not what you have. On the outside, but it's what what you have on the inside. Um, you have evolved. Somebody's very high vibrational. Collective, whatever karmic lessons you were supposed to learn in the past, you learned your karmic lessons. You paid down karmic debt. And collective, you just walking in your your your. You're being your true authentic self. Um, not saying you're perfect. But collective, you did what you had to do. And you a better person. And somebody don't like that. That's what I picked up during the pre-shuffle. Collective, somebody liked that you better when you was fake and phony. When you was full of guilt. When you was confused. You were unawake, unawakened, very low vibrational. Somebody liked that you better when you was in that state. Um, So I'm assuming somebody has evolved. Because somebody... um. Has a spirituality hater. No, I'm not assuming. I picked up on the energy um, of who you was before you evolved. So, somebody was very materialistic or was trying to live a very luxurious lifestyle. Um, somebody was trying to be something they wasn't or collective. It's like you had all the money and fame, but you lack confidence or you lack authenticity or you was very low vibrational even when, when you had material wealth or something like that <clears throat> all right so basically what i picked up on the pre-shuffle is somebody liked it somebody better when they was low vibrational and now collective that you're no longer low vibrational you're very balanced out you have uh did your shadow work, paid all that. Um, somebody is hating on you collective because of that. 
So I just heard Misery Loves Company. I just heard that too. All right, so let me go ahead and jump in. Let me get y'all some messages. Give me a message for the collective over the weekend. What's the collective's overall energy? Okay, we got Goddess of the Moon. And this card is about intuition. Goddess of the Moon. So collective, um, somebody's very intuitive over the weekend. This is about intuition. Goddess of the Moon. And then we got hostilities. Yeah. So collective, somebody could be being hostile towards you because of, because of your intuition. Collective, somebody's going to be hostile towards your intuition. Um, or they're hostile towards you because they don't like your intuition. Collective, somebody's all tied up. And I think this person don't want you to know that they're all tied up. So collective, somebody could be being hostile towards you, but you already know why intuitively. And this could be the spirituality hater I picked up on during the pre-shuffle. So collective, this could be you and this is your hater right here. And this hater, collective, somebody could have been lying to you about being all tied up. So collective, this could have been somebody coming to you, asking you for money. And this person is saying that they don't have money, but they do. So somebody's lying about being all tied up. And collective, you're going to pick something up intuitively that somebody is lying about something. And collective, I think when you react to this person intuitively you don't you're not going to allow somebody to deceive you that's when like they're going to get hostile or something <clears throat> it might even also be um a, a case might get solved or a criminal might get caught or found out as well I'm picking that up too. A case might get solved. Somebody could have kidnapped somebody, whether it's a child or an adult. Somebody could have been trying to keep secrets. Somebody's being hostile because they got somebody tied up. Like, it could be two men that's doing something to this woman. Somebody could be holding somebody hostage or something. What do you want? All right, so. All right. So, yeah, I had to pause the video. Every time I, it's, it's like, it's just annoying sometimes. Every time I start recording, It's always some interruptions. It never fell. Always interruptions. It can be very annoying sometimes. All right. Give me a message for the collective. Give me a message for the collective. Give me a message for the collective. Yeah, opportunity. Opportunity. Collective, I'm picking up. Collective, you could be right about something. You or somebody else is like right. Somebody's picking up something intuitively. And collective, somebody is going to be calling you like crazy. Or you're insane or you're crazy or you don't know what you're talking about. And collective, you're not crazy. You're actually dead on. So collective, somebody could be trying to steal an opportunity for, from you. So somebody could be trying to take your confidence, um, reverse psychology, things like that. Somebody's being mean and rude to you, collective. Or this is like um, like some legalities. Somebody could be doing something to somebody. And it's like when the authorities go to these people's house, they're going to be very rude. But it's like, I don't know if these people could have somebody in their house there that, that they're not that's not supposed to be in their home. Somebody could have kidnapped somebody or something. Or somebody's hiding out a fugitive or something like that. Um 
It could also be two men that could be like mistreating a woman or kidnapped a woman or holding a woman hostage or something. It could be two men. I'm also picking up somebody could be a medium or a psychic or something. And collective, you're right. Whatever you're saying, you're right. And somebody calling you crazy. Somebody is saying you're crazy. And it's not true. So collective, somebody could be doubting you. Because you know something intuitively. So somebody is like, well, if you don't got no 3D evidence, then prove it. Like somebody is like being an asshole about something. But collective, this person is aware that you're you're right. This person know that you know. So yeah, and then we got the moon right there. So something is like pure intuition. Collective, you know something. And somebody is like being hostile towards you, trying to do you harm, calling you crazy, trying to bring you down before they bring, trying to bring you down before you bring them down. Or something like that going on. All right, so let me put some tarot on. Um, Collective, what y'all can expect in love and romance. So, what can a collective expect in love and romance? Damn. Ah, oh. so it's I want to be more than friends. It came out sideways. So, collective, this could be concerning your love and romance, your love life, or somebody else around you. So, somebody is not sure what they want to do. That came out sideways. So, somebody not sure. So somebody don't know if they want to be in a relationship with somebody and they, or they don't know if they just want to be friends. Somebody don't know. Somebody's not sure. Collective, I'm also picking up. You could be doing a reading for somebody and this person is going to be upset at you because you told them the truth. So collective, somebody could have got a reading from you, for, from you and this person asked you is so-and-so my divine feminine? Is so-and-so my divine masculine? And collective, you could have told this person no. And collective, somebody's going to be hostile towards you because you told them the truth. Somebody didn't like, somebody don't like the truth over the weekend. That's what I'm hearing. It's going to be situations, collective, where somebody's not going to like the truth about a situation. So collective, if you're a tarot reader or something, these could be your clients or one of your clients. This person might even um, request a refund because they don't like the reading that you gave them. So in Love and Romance Collective, somebody don't know what they want to do. They don't know if they want to be single. They don't know if they want to be single or in a relationship. They don't know. All right, what's going on with want to be friends more than friends sideways? Or collective, be careful because this could be your lover too. Your lover don't know um, if they want to be more than friends with you or if they want to be single, something like that. And then we got the chaser. Chaser and codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues. Yeah. Yeah. So this could be a situation, collective, where you or your lover or somebody... They don't want they don't really want the person that they're with, but they don't want somebody else to have their person. So somebody's not really in love. They just don't want to see their lover with somebody else, but they don't love their lover. Somebody just has fear of abandonment issues. But they're not really in love with their lover. They just don't want to be alone. So this could be a married couple. This could be a couple. And someone wants to be single or they want to cheat, but it's like they have fear of abandonment issues. So it's like somebody is going to, somebody wants to tell their lover, 
I want to break up or I want a divorce. That's how they really feel. But they don't want their, their lover to like leave. So somebody wants like an open relationship. But they don't want their lover to know that they really want an open relationship. So somebody is a little bit confused. Somebody wants their cake and eat it too over the weekend. So collective, this is either you or your lover or somebody else. So collective, be careful because your lover could be stringing you along. Because they fear that if they express to you that they want an open relationship, that you're going to leave. Because collective, you probably don't do third parties. And your lover wants a third party. Or your lover wants their cake and eat it too. And then we got a karmic relationship. Yeah. Yeah, somebody could be dealing with a karmic. Or this relationship is very karmic. All right. Give me, give me two more for this coming out sideways. So I also see two collective. Somebody could be chasing you, but they really don't want you. Or they want to use you until they figure out what they want to do. Somebody is the chaser because they're doing it out of habit. They're they're codependent. They have fear of abandonment issues, but they chasing you collective. And they really don't know what they want. Maybe this person just wants sex. Or they just don't like being alone, but it's not love. Then we had the sword and rose, clarity, truth, revelation, solid, so, solitary, so, solitarity, something, force, honor, protection, power. I can't pronounce that word. Mm -mm, I can't. <laughs> All right. So collective, you're going to get the truth. About um, yourself or your lover. That somebody has codependent issues. They fear abandon abandonment. This is not really love. It's just this person fears abandonment. And they're codependent. So somebody might get the truth. The revelation about themselves or their lover. Or collective. You might find out that your lover is chasing somebody else. Or something like that. Or collective, somebody is chasing your lover or somebody's chasing you. And then we got the snake. Yeah. Competition, enemy, clever, malicious. Look over your shoulder, the other woman. Yeah. So, collective, concerning love and romance. You're, if you a female, and this is like a heter heterosexual relationship. If you a female... Your boyfriend or your husband could be the chaser or collective. Your boyfriend or your husband's third party is chasing your person and she really don't love your person. She's just, she's just the chaser. She's the other woman. So collective, that could be the re I don't know. This could be a third party situation in love. And somebody's going to get clarity, truth, and revelation about the chaser and the other woman. And collective, you might find out that that could be the reason why your lover don't know what they want to do with you because of the other woman. Or collective, your lover don't know what they want to do with you because they're the chaser. Or your lover is chasing the other woman or something. Or the other woman is chasing your lover. So, collective, that could be the reason why your lover got you on standby or something. Or your lover, somebody might come and say something. So, collective, how I'm looking at the cards is, if this is your energy. Collective, this is your energy or, you know, your lover could be putting you in this situation. Or collective, you... You could have told the lover to wait, to wait for like a deeper commitment collective. So you don't want to be more than friends collective with your lover until you figure out what the hell is going on. You don't trust like a lover that could be wanting to go into a deeper connection with you collective. So collective, you don't know. Or you're either collective, this is you, you're telling a lover to wait 
Or collective, your lover was telling you to wait. But collective, you might get the truth about why there's confusion going on in your love life. Why somebody don't want to be, they don't know what they want to be, friends, couple, somebody. Collective, you're going to get the truth that it's your lover. It could be your lover that's chasing the other woman. Or collective, this is the reason why you don't want to be in a relationship with your lover. Or you're not going to get serious with your lover because you know the truth or you're going to find out the truth that your lover is chasing the other woman. Or collective, your lover is chasing you, but he got a third party. Or something like that. Or collective, you could be friend zoning your lover. Or you're rejecting your lover from a deeper connect uh, from a deeper commitment. Because collective, that's your protection. You know what the truth is, collective. So you are not um going to get into a deeper commitment with your lover and you know he's still chasing the other woman or he's still dealing with the third party or something like that so collective you could be coming out sideways is for your protection because your lover could be saying oh i left the other woman i don't deal with the other woman no more but collective you know intuitively that your lover do still mess with the, the snake or something like that so, collective, you coming out sideways. You telling your lover, I don't know. I don't know if I want to believe that. I don't know. You going to have to prove it. Yeah, because that snake, that other woman, she coming out in the reading. Yup. And then we got twin flames at the bottom of the deck. So, collective, your divine masculine could be, um, you're making your divine masculine wait, or your divine masculine is making you wait. Because of the karmic. Yep. So this is a twin flame connection. But somebody twin is like dealing with the karmic. Or in the past used to deal with the karmic. And collective you don't believe your twin. Or you got a reason not to believe them. Or something like that. Yeah. So collective for some of y'all. Y'all dealing with y'all twin. And collective you might friend zone your divine masculine. Because of the karmic. Yep. Collective, you might also find out that your divine masculine did something to his karmic. And you're going to tell your divine masculine to stay away from you. Because you know he did something to his karmic. Or he's lying to you about his involvement with the karmic. Or your divine masculine did harm to that karmic. And he mad that you know, that you know intuitively. So... Um, let me go ahead. So, what's going on with the collective over the weekend? So, collective, I'm picking up this opportunity energy is not necessarily, um, for you. It's not necessarily you. It, it's like a warning, because this is the moon. So, it's like the moon can also be like hidden, um, secret enemies lurking, things like that. So, collective, you're very intuitive. You're on point. You hit the, net, the nail on the head over the weekend concerning a situation. This can even be like legalities, a criminal case, or something like that. Somebody committed a crime, whether it's a misdemeanor, felony, whatever. Collective, you're very intuitive. You know somebody lying. You know what the truth is. And collective, somebody's going to seize the opportunity to like play games with you. That's what I'm picking up. Like a secret enemy, a hater. Yeah. So, collective the fool. Yeah. So, somebody going to be foolish, collective. Somebody going to be foolish over the weekend. Yeah. And I heard they taking a chance, the two of pentacles. Balancing act avenue. Yeah. Somebody, um, collective, somebody, yeah, they playing. Somebody juggling. So collective, it's like you're very intuitive, but it's like this person want to offend your and to offend you, but they don't, it's like they don't want you to know that they're offending you. They're taking like a risk. They're taking a chance. 
It's like this person don't want you to know how devious they are. But them lying to you, they're taking a risk. Or this person wants to know how intuitive are you. Something like that. Somebody, I'm hearing somebody's prying. They're prying. Um, they taking a risk. They two of pentacles. They juggling something. They're taking like a chance of exposing themselves to you. Like I'm hearing how deep, how deep it go or how deep it can get. Or how deep this person's deception can go or something like that. Yeah. <clears throat> it's like collective. The more somebody lied to you, it's just revealing to you how low this person can go. Or something like that. Or how deceptive this person is. But they don't want you to know that. Or something like that going on. Yeah, we got the hangman. So, collective, you or somebody else could be a Pisces. Somebody might end up in jail, the hangman. Um, yeah, the five of swords. So, somebody could have been being petty, the five of swords, pettiness. The five of swords can also be defeat, a bad argument, petty theft, things like that. The hangman could also be enlightenment. So somebody could be getting enlightened as well. Yeah, indecision way. Huh. Two of swords. Yeah, somebody could be lost for words. The hangman with the two of swords. I'm hearing somebody's lost for words. And then we got the empress. So something is very successful. Somebody's very abundant. Somebody might even find out they're pregnant. Collective, your lover might uh, propose to you and you might tell your lover no, collective. Because he still got the third party or something like that. Yeah. So it's like collective, it's like somebody, your lover might propose to you, collective. But you intuitive, collective, you know that your lover... Is still with the third party or still something. And it's like collective, your lover trying to convince you that the other woman don't exist or your love, they no longer with the, the other woman, but collective, you know, intuitively that they is. So collective, somebody is seizing the opportunity to make you think you crazy, but you're very intuitive goddess of the moon collective. You know all about deception and, enemies and the game and things like that you know this is the goddess of the moon so collective you know about that moon energy you know um yeah i'm hearing somebody somebody they don't know what to say somebody could be getting interrogated or collective, maybe your lover feel like, feel as if you're interrogating them. Your lover could feel like they're being interrogated. The hangman with the two of swords. Somebody don't know what to say. Somebody do not know what to say. Or it's nothing else that somebody else, it, it's nothing that somebody can do about a situation. Somebody's like stuck. Somebody stuck or somebody in jail and they two of swords. They don't know when they getting out or they don't know their, the, the, their bell amount, indecision. 
Then we got the Queen of Wands, supporter of ambition and business success. So we got air and we got fire and we got Pisces. Queen of Wands. Collective, somebody don't know. Somebody stuck. Somebody did all they can do. Collective, somebody tried loving you. Somebody tried being mean to you. So what I'm kind of picking up, Collective, is your Divine Masculine, somebody Divine Masculine do not want to let go of his third party. Somebody Divine Masculine want their cake and eat it too. Collective, for some of y'all, somebody going to get proposed to and collect Divine Feminine. You going to tell your Divine Masculine no. Because he won't let go of the third party. And he telling you, yes, I did. And Collective, you saying, no, you didn't. Yeah. This man did everything he could. He don't, I mean, he did everything he could to try to block your intuition. To get you to believe the, his lie. And it could be because of the Queen of Wands. That Queen of Wands could be the other woman. Collective, your Divine Masculine could be holding on to the Queen of Wands because the Queen of Wands could be very successful. Your, the Queen of Wands probably su supports your Divine Masculine business affairs. It's like your Divine Masculine wants this Queen of Wands for two reasons. For sexual reasons and for like business purposes. She could be a good businesswoman. Somebody Divine Masculine don't want to let this Queen of Wands go. Collective, your Divine Masculine wants you and the Queen of Wands. Yeah, and then we got the higher front. Somebody could be married already. Somebody could be married. Or collective, your, your Divine Masculine work with the Queen of Wands. Your Divine Masculine works with the Queen of Wands, the Hierophant. Or collective, you could be the Queen of Wands. You could be very bold, very confident about your intuition. You, you know that you know that you know. So collective, this could be you. You know that you know that you know. You've been, it's been confirmation. Your, your, your intuition has been confirmed. You're very sure about your self collective. And it's like collective, you don't know. It's like you're not arguing with somebody who could be trying to deceive you. Collective, you can't believe that somebody's still trying to play you. And you're the goddess of the moon. <laughs> and somebody's still trying to play you collective. You the queen of wands with the higher font. So the Queen of Wands collective can be you or the other woman. <clears throat> collective, your divine mask can probably work with that Queen of Wands. But they sleeping around or something like that. What if I just hang in? Yeah, then we got the Emperor and the Five of Cups. Damn, that sucks, please. So, Collective, the Emperor is Five Cups. So, Collective, I don't know this Emperor might end up in jail. Or, Collective, the Emperor might propose to you and you're going to be the hangman and the Two of Swords. Collective, if somebody proposed to you or something over the weekend, Collective... I don't think you're happy. I think you're disappointed at the audacity that you already told the emperor no. And then the emperor go come back and propose to you putting put you, putting everybody in the situation. So it's like collective, you could you the emperor is trying to put you on a spot collective and you're trying not to embarrass the emperor. Because collective, you, the emperor already know the deal. You already know the deal. 
So why would he come and propose to you when the, when the Queen of Wands is, is still in the picture? So collective, you might be the hangman. You might be speechless. This man is going to ask you to reconcile or this man is going to propose to you. And collective, you probably won't even answer him. You the hangman with the two of swords. You don't know what to say because you already told him no or something like that. So collective, the emperor might put you in a situation... Um, might invite you out to dinner with your family and friends there. And he's hoping that if he have witnesses that you would say yes to his proposal. So this man is trying to call your bluff collective. Because you already got your standards, the higher font. Collective, you already got your standards. You the higher font. The goddess of the moon. So this man thinks, I'm going to have my third party, whether Divine Feminine like it or not. I want Divine Feminine and the Queen of Wands. So, let me take a chance. I'm going to get Divine Feminine in front, of, in front of everybody, her friends and family. And I'm going to pro propose to Divine Feminine. And I'm going to see if Divine Feminine can reject me then. Divine Feminine, I think you probably won't even answer the Emperor. You, you're not going to even answer him. You ain't going to say nothing. So divine feminine, somebody could be trying to call your call your bluff in the name of love. <laughs> That's what this is. Something like that going on. Or somebody gonna end up in jail. Or somebody was trying to get somebody locked up and it's not gonna work. Somebody could be trying to get somebody locked up and it's not gonna work. The emperor collective, this could be your father, your child's father. The emperor could also be a business owner. So it's like collective, you the, you the, this the emperor, you the empress. And then we got the queen of wands, the other woman. So collective, I don't know if you could be married to the emperor or if the queen of wands is married to the emperor. Or the emperor is going to propose to you collective and want you to be his empress. But somebody two swords because of the Queen of Wands. Or something like that. And then we got Justice. The Emperor is five cups. I don't know. Somebody might go to jail. Or somebody was trying to get somebody locked up. And it ain't going to work. Somebody might get bonded out. <sighs> I don't know. Somebody else could also be married. It could be a married man out here. The emperor could be married to the queen of wands. But he's trying to propose to somebody else over the weekend. And he's still married to the queen of wands. Or something like that. What's going on with, in this, with the two of swords? Messenger of slow and steady. Yeah, the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah. The hangman with the two of swords. Somebody don't know what to say. Somebody don't know what to say. Um, Something is not going to work out. This is somebody trying to put somebody in jail or this is a man proposing to a woman. The, some, something's going to come to like a complete halt. Something's just going to come to a complete halt. So this could be wedding plans. This could be somebody getting incarcerated. Or this could be somebody thinking they're going to get bonded out and they're not. Or something like that. The Knight of Pentacles is stagnation. Because somebody don't know what to say. So. Something going to get slowed down. Like. Something going to happen. Somebody's going to stop somebody in their tracks. What's going on with this um, Queen of Wands?
Passion and Desire Gardens, the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands. <laughs> the Emperor in the past or over the weekend. Could have started a passion new beginning with the Queen of Wands and somebody might end up in jail. This emperor has emotional regrets and losses because he started a passion new beginning with the Queen of Wands or the emperor had sex with the Queen of Wands and somebody going to end up in jail. Or this emperor married the Queen of Wands and he maybe he regretted or something. And he want his cake and eat it too. This emperor. So collective, the emperor could be, be the emperor could be getting a, becoming enlightened that you're aware, collective, of what's going on with him. It's like collective, the emperor is gonna find out that you know. That's the reason why you two swords and you the knight of pentacles. You're not talking to him, you won't answer him. Something has come to a complete stop, a complete halt. There is stagnation. Or something like that. What's going on with this higher farm? What's going on with this higher farm? Provider of prosperity and power, King of Pentacles. Somebody might end up in jail. And sometimes to me, the King of Pentacles is a bell bondsman. So collective, I don't know if the emperor might call you and ask you for bell money. And you're gonna tell the king that you're gonna tell the emperor no. Because you know that the emperor is in jail because of the Queen of Wands, the other woman. Or something like that. Or the emperor is going to jail because he was having sex with the queen of wands or something. Or collective, this could be past energy. Collective, um, maybe in the past when your divine masculine um, could have got in trouble. For whatever reason, collective, you didn't bond him out of jail. So your divine masculine called the queen of wands. And your queen of wands bailed your divine masculine out of jail. So collective, after that, your divine masculine could have married the queen of wands. Because, like, they started a relationship after she bailed him out. And they ended up married. I see in the cards, in the past collective... The Queen of Wands belt your divine masculine out of jail. They got into a relationship and they probably ended up married. But what's going to happen over the weekend collective is your divine masculine married the Queen of Wands. But your divine masculine going to end up back in jail because of the Queen of Wands. So she, she bonded your divine masculine out of jail in the past. And over the weekend collective, the Queen of Wands is going to be the reason why your Divine Masculine end up back in jail. I see that. Yeah. So somebody bonded somebody out of jail in the past. And they started dating or something like that. Then they got married. But now over the weekend collective, your Emperor back in jail, he's a hangman, he five cups. So this woman that bonded him out in the past, the same woman that's going to put him back in jail over the weekend. Mm, I don't know. Something like that going on. Somebody don't know. Somebody don't know something. 
So collective, I don't know if the Queen of Wands could have offended the Emperor. And the Emperor don't know if you did it or the Queen of Wands did it. Or something like that. Or collective, the Emperor know that the Queen of Wands did something. But the Emperor is going, going up against you just because you're right. Like you knew the Queen of Wands did something. The, the Emperor know that the Queen of Wands did it. But collective, because you're intuitive and you already knew intuitively, you know what's going on. It's like the emperor just going to come up against you for the hell of it. Just for you being right. Or something like that. Yeah, somebody might end up in jail over the weekend. That king of swords could be a lawyer. Provider of lo of logic and impartial judgment. The king of swords. So somebody might have to get a lawyer. And then the five of swords back out here. <sighs> or collective. I don't know if your divine masculine could be getting karma over the weekend. Because in the past collective, the queen of wands did something to your emperor. But your the emperor blamed it on you. Or something like that. The Emperor knew that the Queen of Wands did it collective, but the Emperor still blamed something on you or something like that. And the Emperor could be getting karma or something. Or, close that door. Or, I also see collective. You could be married to the emperor. And collective, your emperor going to end up in jail. And you going to ask him, how you get out of jail? Who bonded you out? And collective, your emperor might lie to you. But it was the other woman who bonded him out. Or collective, something's going to happen to the emperor, your husband, and you're going to go try to bail him out, and you're going to run into the queen of wands, the other woman, and you might ask the emperor, who is the queen, who is that? And he's going to say, oh, that ain't nobody, but that's she, the other woman. But collective, you already know, your gut is telling you that the queen of wands is the other woman. So collective, you're going to meet up with this woman by chance. Trying to bail the, your emperor out of jail. Or collective, you didn't bond your, bail your emperor out of jail. His other woman did. And collective, you going to say, what happened? How you get out? Who bonded you out? I wasn't able to get to you in time. So who, who got you out of jail? And collective, I don't know. Your emperor might tell you the truth. The queen of wands. And collective, you going to say, I thought you, how you get in touch with the queen of wands? How did the Queen of Wands know that you was in jail? You wasn't supposed to be in contact with the Queen of Wands. Or something like that. So collective, something about that Queen of Wands, you're going to be two swords in the Knight of Pentacles. It's like you can't believe it. You don't know what to say. Like how hard-headed can you be? How dumb can you be? Or something like that. That emperor. Like you can't believe it. Collective that. Your, your divine mask or that emperor still messing around with the queen of wands. You two swords like. <sighs> something like that going on. Alright. What's this spill with this hanging What's the spell with the hangman? <sighs> What's the spell? Yup, third party situation. Yeah. Third party interference. This could be another lover, friends, or meddling family. So, collective, somebody could be in jail because of the Queen of Wands, the third party. Collective, that Queen of Wands could be 
your divine masculine's lover, your divine masculine's friend, co-worker, or collective. That queen of wands could be your family. The, your, the emperor, your divine masculine could be messed around with your family member collective. Or something like that. The hangman. Somebody could be in jail. Or collective, the hangman is being enlightened about the third party or who the third party is. Collective, you could be a Pisces or your divine masculine a Pisces. Somebody's being enlightened about a third party situation or somebody's going to find out who the third party is, that Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands could be a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius, don't have to be. But the Queen of Wands could just be the other woman. So, because somebody is being enlightened about the, a third party situation, the Emperor has five cups. What's the story with the Emperor with these five cups? A slacker. Someone who avoids doing work, prioritizes, prioritizes doing nothing, takes shortcuts on a job. <laughs> so, somebody in a position of authority might get in trouble too. Somebody in a position of authority might get in trouble. This could be like a CEO, um, a cop, the chief of police. Somebody in a position of authority might get in trouble because they was being a slacker. Or somebody covered for a slacker. Somebody that could have like caused an injustice or got somebody falsely arrested or something. Somebody could have falsified a police report or something. The emperor could have been being a slacker. And somebody might get in trouble. And like uh, a police unit or something. Or the emperor is somebody's child's father or somebody's husband. Somebody might find out the hard way that the queen of wands is a slacker. Or collective, the, the your emperor, the divine mas, your divine masculine, um, he might regret underestimating you. Your divine masculine thought in the past collective that you was a slacker, so it's like he went with the queen of wands and still ended up in jail, or something like that. So, collective, I think you're the empress, and your emperor rejected you for the queen of wands. So, the emperor could have prejudged you, collective, and co was calling you a slacker. So, your emperor went with, went with the queen of wands, or something like that. Yeah, collective, I think you're a divine masculine rejected you and went with the queen of wands because he thought you was a slacker for whatever reason he thought you was a slacker he thought that you he your divine master thought that you avoid doing work that you prioritize doing nothing and that you take shortcuts on the job or this is what your divine master or the emperor was doing and somebody suffered an injustice because the emperor was accusing the empress of being a slacker or the emperor was being a slacker. So this emperor could be people in a position of authority. Or this is somebody's child's father or father or husband. Collective, the emperor could even be your father. And the Queen of Wands could be like your sister or your stepsister or something. And collective over the weekend, your father is going to regret like misprejudging you or misjudging you or something like that. Something. Somebody could own a Bell Bonds company, collective. 
It could be a family business. Y'all own like a bell. Y'all um y'all are bell bondsmen or something like that. Or bounty hunters or something. And collective, something gonna happen. Something gonna happen. And collective, your family, your, maybe your father and your sister or your stepsister, they don't want to accept the fact that you was right. But collective, I'm picking up over the weekend, your family or your lovers or whoever, they don't want to accept the fact that you was right about a situation. And they're still like going to come up against you, even though they know you're right. Or something like that. Collective, you write about something. You're very intuitive about something. And people around you don't want you to know that you're right. It's like you're kind of like outnumbered a little bit. I'm also picking up collective. If you're like involved in like a family business or something. Your father could have like. Your father is like choosing like your other sister, the queen of wands. But collective, you know that your father is like doing something to your sister or something like that. So your father could be using your sister collective. Your father could be underpaying your sister. It's like he mistreats y'all. So the emperor doing something that he going to regret. So it's like collective, you could have been trying to tell the queen of wands your sister to stop working for your father because he's an asshole or he 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 like um put y'all in competitions and things to his advantage. It's like he want you and your sister to compete so he can underpay y'all and get away with it or something like that. Some the emperor that could be somebody's father. So somebody was doing something very underhanded and collective. You're very intuitive about what that emperor did or was doing. It's something very underhanded, very subtle, something that's almost undetectable. But collective, because you're intuitive, you picked it up and somebody don't like that. Collective, you could also be picking up that somebody's man manipulating your family, your sister. Your dad could be manipulating your sister. For his advantage to run a family business. Or collective, this is your lover or somebody, something. Somebody could be taking advantage of somebody, that emperor. Or collective, you're trying to tell somebody that the emperor is taking advantage of them, but they don't want to believe you. Or something. What's the spill with um the two of swords and the knight of pentacles? Yeah, acting a fool. <laughs> yeah. Someone who knows they are being childish and goofy but doesn't care when the situation calls for maturity. Yeah. Somebody might end up in jail because they was acting a fool. Or collective, somebody's acting a fool and you don't know. You done talking. And collective, you done with a situation. Because you know somebody acting a fool. Collective, you two swords. You two swords. You done talking. You not arguing. You said what you had to say. And that's it. The Knight of Pentacles. We done here. I'm two swords and then the Knight of Pentacles. I'm not saying nothing else and then we done. Because somebody acting a fool. Collective, somebody could have been accusing you of being irresponsible and it wasn't true. Collective, <laughs> over the weekend, whoever is acting a fool, they can't ignore the fact that you're not irresponsible. It can no longer be ignored. Something is so obvious, Collective, that you're like, right? You're very intuitive and you was right. It cannot be ignored. Something speaks for itself and Collective, somebody still want to come up against you. Something cannot be ignored. Something is so obvious. What's the spill with um 
the Queen of Wands and the Ace of, the Ace of Wands. So I didn't even realize that, realize that the Queen of Wands with the Ace of Wands is two wands and then you got two swords. What's this girl? Yeah, a poker face. <laughs> Not showing emotion, unable to be read. Revealing no hint of thoughts or emotions. That Queen of Wands ain't no good. If that Queen of Wands the other woman, she ain't no good. She a poker face. Collective, that Queen of Wands could be in business with your Divine Masculine, your father. Um, collective, the Queen of Wands could have been trying to get you put in jail. Or get your child's father or your father put in jail. I'm kind of picking up the Queen of Wands ain't no good. As well, the other woman. So, Collective, that other woman could be your stepmom, stepmom as well. Not showing emotion. This person... um. Guilty. So that Queen of Wands did something, but got a poker face or something. That Queen of Wands could have did something to the Emperor. Not necessarily the Emperor doing something to the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands did something to the Emperor. Or maybe the Emperor was lying to the Queen of Wands. What's the spill with the Hierophant and the King of Pentacles? Close that door. The seventh house. This situation involves someone's partnerships, marriage, business matters. Could be enemies, dependent on situation. Yeah. The higher form with the king of pentacles could be a family business. You guys could be bounty hunters or y'all got y'all run a bell bondsman something. Or somebody could be married. I also see collective, the emperor could have been messing around with the queen of wands on you. Collective, you could be married or the emperor is your divine masculine. Collective, the, the your divine masculine, that emperor had you in a third party with the queen of wands. Collective, you, the emperor might find out that the queen of wands is married to the king of pentacles. I see that too going on. Yeah, collective, yo, this emperor gonna find out his other woman, that woman married to the king of pentacles. Or she the reason that he's gonna get put in jail, or she the reason that his bond got jacked up. They He got a higher bond because of something that Queen of Wands could have said or lied about. And nobody would really suspect that the Queen of Wands did this, but she did it. Or something. But the seventh house, this is a partnership, a marriage, or a business. Something like that going on. <clears throat> um, what's the seventh house? Libra. So somebody could be a Libra. Um, I'm, I don't know. Collective. Somebody could be a bounty hunter or something. Or this could be the feds, the police. I don't know if this is somebody trying to serve a warrant. But it's like somebody is not sure if it's the house. If you guys are at the right house. And it's like collective. You know something intuitively. But your co-workers didn't want to listen to you. So y'all like y'all could have like a criminal or something could have escaped. Because they didn't want to listen to your intuition. So y'all, somebody could be outside at night trying to serve a warrant. Or somebody could be a bounty hunter. I don't even know if that still exists. But it's like collective. If you a bounty hunter or something. or It's like collective. You intuitively knew. Your intuition told you like that was the right house or. You knew what somebody was hiding out at. And collective, whoever you working with, they didn't want to believe you. So a criminal or something could have got away. The emperor could be the chief of police. 
And the emperor didn't want to listen to somebody. And somebody going to get away. And then the emperor going to have emotional regrets and losses. And then collective, the emperor going to be mad at you. Because you was right. Or something like that. This could be, I don't know. I don't know. Or somebody was telling somebody, don't go into business with the Queen of Wands. Collective, you could have picked up intuitively not to go into business with the Queen of Wands. Because that Queen of Wands is like a bold-faced liar. And Collective, you know something. You know that Queen of Wands couldn't be trusted. But Collective, the Emperor either wanted the Queen of Wands um, assets to the business. Or that Emperor was messed around with the Queen of Wands. And you told that the emperor not to work with or hire that queen of wands. So collective, the emperor could be your father. And you told your father, don't hire the queen of wands. Because collective, you knew that something was wrong with that queen of wands. And you picked up something intuitively collective. And your father either hired the queen of wands because he wanted to have sex with her or he was having sex with her. Or she brought like an asset or something to like the business or something. But it's like collective, your father is not intuitive. He was being logical. The Queen of Wands had what he needed for the business. But collective, you picked up something intuitively and they didn't want to listen to you. So over the weekend, collective, this emperor is going to be five cups because the emperor didn't want to listen to your intuition. And then it's like collective, when shit hit the fan, when, when what you said come true, collective, it's like the emperor want to take out his anger on you. Instead of taking his anger out on the Queen of Wands. Yeah, something like that going on. Collective, I also see that you might try to save the Queen of Wands. You might, I don't know what this is. Whoever the Queen of Wands is, Collective, it's like... You was telling the emperor, leave the queen of wands alone. Because that queen of wands could be a, let me see, this queen of wands could be a liar. Or she a hustler. Or she a thief or something. And collective, you could have picked it up intuitively. Give me this fill with the queen of wands. Or a fraud or something. Always partying and playing games. Okay. So the queen of wands is always partying and playing games. Collective, you could have tried to warn the emperor to leave the queen of wands alone. Because collective, you know the, the emperor's temperament. You know that the queen of wands, you know that the emperor will hurt the queen of wands. So collective, the emperor might find out something about the queen of wands. And it's like collective. You're going to have to go and save that queen of wands or try to run and get to that queen of wands. Because the emperor and like another man might try to like, is going to like um, kidnap this queen of wands or something. Because the, the queen of wands like deceived the emperor and the emperor going to find out. And it's like collective, you're trying to save or you're trying to negotiate with the emperor and tell the emperor, let that queen of wands go. Don't do that to her. Let her go. Yeah, she was wrong. Yeah, she lied. But let her go. Don't do harm to her. Or something like that, Collective. And Collective, you might go to the Emperor house and be like, let me in. Let me in. Because it's like, Collective, the Emperor got the Queen of Wands like tied up or something. The Emperor and like another man got that Queen of Wands tied up. And Collective, the Emperor going to say to you, man, you crazy. Get, a, get away from my door. Ain't nobody in here. Ain't nobody think about that Queen of Wands. But it's like collective, you right. They got that Queen of Wands tied up in the house. They got her tied up. And collective, you gonna try to go to the Emperor house and say, open the door, let me in. Let that Queen of Wands go. Let her go. Y'all can't do that to that girl like that. And collective, that Emperor gonna say, I don't know what you talking about, but get away from my door. That Emperor and like another man is gonna do something to that Queen of Wands. Yeah, or something like that. So
So I don't know if this can even be like some street stuff. Something like that. That Queen of Wands is trying to be down. And she ran into the wrong one. That The Emperor and somebody else going to tie that Queen of Wands up or something. Because it's like collective. That Queen of Wands always partying and playing games. But then she got a poker face. So it's like collective. The Queen of Wands is not able to be read. But collective, because you're intuitive, you can see right through the Queen of Wands. You can pick it up intuitively. Even though the Queen of Wands has a poker face, you still know that that Queen of Wands is always partying and playing games. <clears throat> or collective, the Emperor and the Queen of Wands could have been teaming up to come up against you. And collective, you already know, like, you already know, so you're going to get away. And then they're going to try to be hostile towards you because you got away. Or something like that. It's like collective, the Queen of Wands and the Emperor could have been coming up against you together. You're going to like get away because of your, because you're intuitive. But it's like the Emperor is trying to protect the Queen of Wands collective to make sure something it's like collective the emperor could be trying to intimidate you not to tell on the queen of wands or something like that i don't know what they was trying to do to you collective but it's like the emperor is trying to intimidate you collective to not say nothing because if you say something the emperor and the queen of wands is like going to jail but the emperor is protecting the queen of wands because he don't want her to go to jail or something Yeah, or something like that. Let me put some tea on this. Give me the tea with the hangman with this third party. All right, we back. We got bad karma here. Yeah. So collective, I'm picking up the emperor could be getting bad karma over the weekend. Then we have last chance and offer. Yeah. They lost their chance or you did. Collective. <clears throat> Somebody could have been trying to give you an offer, but they're going to lose their chance at giving you an offer, trying to play you. Collective. Somebody could have been trying to give you bad karma, but they're going to lose their chance. Collective. Somebody could have been trying to slip you a Mickey or something. Somebody, yeah, somebody was um, planning on slipping you a Mickey, but they lost, they're going to lose their chance because you're intuitive or somebody's going to go to jail. So collective, you could have been supposed to meet, meet up with the emperor and the queen of wands at a party, but collective, something was is like a setup a little bit. So this could have been a party that the queen of wands was throwing. Or collective, the Queen of Wands invited you to this party. But collective, it's something that that Queen, it's like collective, you get to this party before the Emperor do. But you run into the Queen of Wands at this party. And collective, the Queen of Wands got a poker face, but you're, you're picking up something intuitively. And you might not drink this drink collective. And then the Emperor is going to call the Queen of Wands a slacker. Because he wanted the, the Queen of Wands to give you that drink. But collective is not the fact that the Queen of Wands is a slacker. You didn't drink the drink, collective, because you're intuitive. The Queen of Wands did the best she could, collective, to come up against you for the Emperor. And he's calling the Queen of Wands a slacker, but that's not what happened. Collective, you intuitive. So somebody lost their chance to get make you an offer collective to give you back karma. And it could happen. Don't have to be. But this could be at a party and somebody wanted to slip you a Mickey or something in a drink or something. And collective, you, the hangman, you could have been enlightened 
that the emperor and the queen of wands was working together to come up against you. It's a third party situation. It's like collective. The queen of wands invited you to a party, but you didn't expect her to invite the emperor. You just thought it was going to be you and the queen of wands or whatever. You didn't know that the queen of wands knew the emperor or you didn't know that the queen of wands invited the emperor or something like that. So collective, you're being enlightened about a third party. And then the emperor going to be five cups because you're enlightened collective. You figure something out intuitively. But the emperor is cussing the queen of wands out. I heard he's calling her a bum bitch. Like you couldn't get her to drink the drink or you couldn't convince her. You, you couldn't, you can't do nothing. That's what the emperor is saying to the queen of wands. So, what's the tea with the Emperor and the Five of Cups? Yeah, cock blocking. So, Collective, I don't know who the Queen of Wands is to the Emperor. The Queen of Wands could be your Emperor's lover, or the Queen of Wands could be your Emperor's family member, or Collective, the, the Queen of Wands could be your family member, but maybe, I don't know if the Emperor is messed around with the Queen of Wands. It could be different scenarios, but Collective, the Emperor was cock blocking. So, it's like Collective, the Emperor didn't want you to the emperor was trying to use the queen of wands to help him cop block but i don't know if the emperor was messing around with the queen of wands it's like collective the emperor was using the queen of wands to help him cop block or something like that what So, Collective, be careful because this could be like a date rape drug. Collective, that emperor wanted to have sex with you. Maybe him and the Queen of Wands, they wanted to get like a uh, a date rape drug So, because they wanted to have sex with you, but you didn't drink it. But the emperor and the Queen of Wands was like going to get you, both of them was going to um, have sex with you or something. So, this could be like a date rape, so just be careful. What's the tea with the two of swords, the knight of pentacles, and acting the fool? Yeah, you are being bullied online or they are have suffered from it. Yeah. Collective, the emperor and the queen of wands could also be like people you don't know or it's like some new set of friends. So just be careful, collective. This could be people you don't know as well. And collective, um, they were trying to bully you online. So collective, you might have to block these people. It's like collective, the queen of wands invited you to a party. The emperor could be the queen of wands husband or something. Or the, I don't know. But it's like collective, you don't really know these people, but the queen of wands invite you to their party. When you get there, you pick up something intuitively, so you leave. So it's like collective, when you get safe, when you get out of this situation safe, block them like on Facebook. Because it's like they could be your Facebook friends or something. You are being bullied online or they are has suffered from it. Somebody was acting a fool, wanted to give somebody bad karma, and somebody was bullying somebody online. <laughs> and the emperor was trying to cock block. Or collective, I don't know if the Queen of Wands is married to the King of Pentacles. And you could have told the King of Pentacles that the Queen of Wands was messing with the Emperor. So collective, the Emperor wanted you to get wanted you to get karma for telling the Queen of Wands husband the truth. Or something like that. That the Emperor wanted you to get karma collective. Because the emperor didn't want nobody to know that he was messing around with the queen of wands. 
So if you told the King of Pentacles, collected like the, the Emperor wanted you to get back karma for running your mouth or something, because he want to be able to mess with the Queen of Wands without interruption. He's trying to cop block or something. Or collective, like the, the King of Wands, I mean, the Emperor was going to try to like force you to tell the King of Pentacles that you was lying when in fact you was telling the truth. So the emperor was going to try to make you renege on your like original statement or something like that. So collective, somebody trying to call you crazy or they want you to admit that you're crazy and you're not because somebody is cop blocking, somebody sleeping with somebody's wife and they're not supposed to or something like that. All right, what's the tea with the Queen of Wands, with the Ace of Wands, and Poker Face are always partying? <sighs> yeah, fishing for comments. Yep. Mm -hmm. Collective, the Emperor and the Queen of Wands could have been working together to come up against you. The Emperor was doing something on the low, and whatever the Emperor was doing, the Queen of Wands was like making sure that it was working or something like that. So the Queen of Wands and the Emperor could have also been texting back and forth. So it's like collective, you was on your way to this party and the Queen of Wands would tell the Emperor, yeah, she on her way. And then the Emperor was like, call me when she get there or call me when you know she drunk her drink. Call me when she drink the drink and I'll be there. And then the Queen of Wands was like, all right. They could have been texting back and forth or... The Queen of Wands was waiting for the signal from the Emperor on when to give you the drink or something. The Queen of Wands was fishing for comments. But they were like watching you online or something. What's the tea with the Hierophant and the, Knight, the King of Pentacles with the Seven Powers? Yeah, Nightmares. <coughs> The higher front with the king of pentacles in the seventh house is somebody's husband. That king of pentacles could be the queen of wands husband. Or the higher front with the king of pentacles is like bell bondsman. Somebody needs the bell. Somebody needs bell money. And it was giving somebody nightmares that somebody's husband would find out. The emperor was scared that the queen of wands husband would like find out the truth. Or somebody was scared that they didn't have enough bail money. Or somebody was scared that they was going to go to jail or something. The higher font with the King of Pentacles with, with the King of Pentacles was causing somebody nightmares. Or it's going to cause somebody nightmares over the weekend. Insomnia, paranoia, anxiety, unable to sleep, sees things under our right bag. Yeah. I'm also picking up the emperor could have been um the emperor could have bit off more than he can chew. And the emperor is not really the emperor. The emperor is actually the king of pentacles. So the emperor's conscience, the higher font. The emperor knows better. So he could have been having nightmares. The emperor knows better. Because he's really actually only the king of pentacles. The king of Pent the emperor is not the emperor. He's only the king of pentacles. So it's something that the emperor did. That the quote unquote emperor did. In the past or over the weekend. That's going to let him know. That he's not who he think he is. Because emperors don't behave like that. Or if you was an emperor, you wouldn't be in this situation. If you was an emperor, you would have bell money. If you was an emperor, you wouldn't even be in jail. So this emperor, I'm picking up the emperor, not really the emperor. He only the king of pentacles. And the higher fund could be his conscience. Somebody having nightmares. So, this situation involves someone's partnership. This could also be somebody's father. 
And this man is realizing that he did his kids wrong. And he, his conscience, this man is having nightmares. Collective, this could be your father, like, mistreating you and your sister or something. And your father could be a little bit paranoid that maybe you're going to go get your lover. Like, your father is paranoid that your lover is after him. Because of something he did to you or your sister or something. Somebody's father could be paranoid. But this emperor is not really the emperor. Because he was trying to cock block. He the king of pentacles. This is about partnerships, marriage, or business matters. Or could be enemies dependent on the situation. Yeah. The emperor could have also been messing around with the queen of wands. But the emperor works with the king of pentacles. And divine feminine. Whoever collective. I don't know who you is. I don't know who you are. But. It's like collective. The emperor wanted to do harm to you. Because you knew the truth. And that emperor did not want the king of pentacles to know that he was messing around with his wife. Or something like that. So, collective, somebody's going to seize the opportunity to attack your intuition. Or somebody coming up against you hard because you knew something intuitively and you was right, collective. So, this is somebody's opportunity. Collective, I'm also picking up. Be careful because if this is like an attempted like attack or something, these people might or this person might try to come to your house at night. They're going to do something at night. So, just be careful. Yeah. I'm <laughs> I'm also picking up too. <laughs> Somebody wife could be messing with like a cop or something. And this man is going to get somebody's lover put in jail cuz he's cop blocking. This cop is the emperor. The somebody it, the, the emperor could be the chief of police too. So this could be over a woman as well. That queen of wands. It's like a cop that's like messing around with like a regular citizen's wife. And he's going to try to get this man arrested falsely because he wants her wife. He wants this man's wife. Or something. So, the emperor could be abusing his position of authority. Or something like that. Somebody, I also see, so see somebody might have a nervous breakdown as well. I don't know why. The higher front with the king of pentacles with nightmares. Somebody might have a nervous breakdown. Somebody gonna have a nervous breakdown. Cause somebody, it's like this person know that they wrong. Or somebody know that they gonna get caught. It could even be that queen of, the queen of wands that might have a nervous breakdown. Cause the emperor found out that she was lying about something. I don't know. It might be the emperor and the king of pentacles that come up against that king of, that queen of wands. That's what this could be too. The king of pentacles and the emperor is going to put that queen of wands in a, in a situation. Because she could have been trying to play both of them. And going to get caught. And collective, that queen of wands could be your friend. And you could have been trying to tell her to stop cheating or... Stop trying to be a player or something. And collective, something going to get heated up over the weekend. And that king of pentacles and that emperor going to set that queen of wands up. Or something like that. And collective, you might go to your friend house or something. And be banging on the door. And these men are saying, go home, you crazy. What you? It's like collective, you intuitive, you know something is wrong with your friend. Or you know they did something to your friend, the queen of wands. 
But the emperor and the king of pentacles is like calling you stupid or you dumb or why you banging on her door for she ain't home. But if you can find her, you can have her. If you can find her. Like, they're being very cruel to you, Collective, because you're intuitive. Collective, be careful because that Queen of Wands could be your friend. And she was messing around with two men, and both of them might get her. And then it's like, Collective, when they see you coming, they're going to try to attack you too or something like that. So... Yeah, so something like that going on too. So. <laughs> collective, just be careful. Because collective, I also see that. <laughs> Ooh, this is dangerous. Collective, the queen of wands could be your friend, your best friend. And this woman is sleeping with two men. She gonna get caught. These men might do harm to her or they're gonna try to. But collective, the emperor and um the king of pentacles is very aware that you're intuitive. So collective, they're watching like you on social media to see if you gonna say something. To see what you gonna post. They watching you on Facebook. Because they done did something to that queen of wands. And they know you intuitive, so they just want to see if you're going to say something collective. They could be watching you on social media and stalking you to make sure you don't go to the police or something like that. Yeah, because <laughs> these two men out here, I'm picking up one collective. These two men is very aware that you're intuitive. And so they saying we ain't going to get her unless we have to. She can know all she want, but she better not say nothing. And we ain't going to touch it. We don't have to. <laughs> so, Collective, I don't know. You are being bullied online. Collective, if the King of... If the, if the Emperor and the King of Pentacles did something to the Queen of Wands in the past... They could be getting, the emperor and the king of pentacles could, could be getting bullied online by the authorities. Yeah, so collective, the, the king of pentacles could be getting um bullied online by the authorities. And it's like they're under surveillance because they did something to the queen of wands. They got cell phone records. Uh, they, it's only a matter of time, something. Because somebody was fishing for comments, so... If something happened to that Queen of Wands, they have her cell phone, like the authorities. And they know, like, who the Queen of Wands last talked to before she passed away or who she texted or something or who she was at this party with. So, I don't know. Collective, you might cut ties with somebody that was connected to this, to this crime against this Queen of Wands. You might cut ties with somebody. You might block somebody on your social media. Collective, you might block somebody. Because you, you know that this person could be under investigation or something. So you're going to cut ties with somebody. Because it's like Collective, at first they was bullying you online. Making sure you don't say nothing. But it's like Collective, you probably know intuitively that these whoever offended the Queen of Wands is being watched by the authorities. Because the uh, the emperor, the chief of police and the authorities, they know that the queen of wands got hurt because this man was trying to cock block. They know that because something to do with that queen of wands cell phone. The authorities have evidence. So that king of pentacles could have did something to that queen of wands because he was cock blocking because he's a slacker. The, the King of Pentacles could have did something to the Queen of Wands because he's a slacker. Or the King of Pentacles did something to the Queen of Wands because the Queen of Wands wouldn't do something exactly how the King of Pentacles wanted her to do it. And something could have got out of control and something happened to that Queen of Wands. So it's like collective, you two swords, you don't even know what to say. So, Collective, you could be picking up something intuitively. 
and you like speechless about a download you're getting, something like that. And collective, somebody going to seize the opportunity to like damn near kill you almost because you're intuitive. Yeah, we got a spiritual hater. It came out in reverse. Yeah. So collective, somebody out here is hating on your spirituality, but they're saying you're hating on their spirituality. Collective, no, you're not. They hating on you. And this person or these people could have committed a crime too. Or something like that. Somebody could have did something to that Queen of Wands. But I'm going to end it. So, Collective, that's what's going on over the weekend. Let me see. Let me see. Give me the scoop with the hangman in this third party. Give me the scoop. A performer. Entertainment industry. So this could be something to do with the somebody could be an entertainer or somebody's a tarot reader. Or this could be somebody inviting you to a party collective. It could be a party going on. Somebody's being invited to a party. Somebody's entertaining you at a party or something. Somebody's hosting a party. But something could be a setup. What's the scoop with the emperor with the five of cups? Yeah, submerged emotion. Someone's feelings run really deep, but they are concealed. Yeah. Yep, this emperor... It's hiding his emotions about how he feel about a person or a situation. Or he's hiding the fact that he really loves somebody or he really hates someone. Or this emperor is scared. Or the emperor could be like the chief of police or something. And um, somebody offended the queen of wands. And the emperor could be taking it personal because maybe the emperor has a daughter that's like the same age of the queen of wands. And the emperor is like hell bent on solving this case because something could have been too close to home for that emperor. Or something like that. So the emperor has submerged emotions. It's a reason why this emperor is like on this case. He's not letting it go. Because he has submerged emo emotions about this like about whatever happened to the Queen of Wands. Or something. What's the, um, what's the scoop with, uh, the Two of Swords with the Knight of Pentacles? An apology. <laughs> Someone wants forgiveness. So collective. Somebody over the weekend, don't like your intuition. They're offended by your intuition. And collective, somebody is attempting to do reverse psychology on you. Because they want you to apologize to them. Or collective, like I said, some a man might propose to you, collective, over the weekend. And you know that this man is married. He know that you know he's married. Or collective, you know that this man is still messing around with the third party. And he still is going to try to propose to you and apologize. And collective, you have nothing else to say to this man. Because you already told him. If you still got the queen of wands, I want nothing to do with you. And collective, this man is still going to propose to you. And he still got the queen of wands. <clears throat> so collective it's like you don't have nothing to say to this man and collective you might block um this man from facebook because him and the queen of wands could be bullying you online but it's like he want to propose to you but behind the scenes he's bullying you online or something like that this is crazy 
What's the scoop with the Queen of Wands with um the Ace of Wands with this poker face? So, collectors, somebody that's acting a fool wants to propose to you or wants to apologize to you. Or, collectors, somebody that's acting a fool feel as though you should apologize to them. New job, you're hired. You got the job. Mm. Oh, what's the scoop with the higher font and the king of pentacles balance collective I'm also picking up two something bad happened to the queen of wands in the past or over the weekend something's going to happen to that queen of wands And collective, because of whatever the Queen of Wands did or something, you gonna get the job or something. Something, cause something gonna happen to that Queen of Wands. It's like collective, you're hired because of the Queen of Wands. It's like collective, because the Queen of Wands is always partying and playing games and might get exposed over the weekend. Now you got the job. So, Collective, that could be another reason why the Queen of Wands and the Emperor was coming up against you. Because y'all could have been working together. And the Queen of Wands got fired. But they you didn't get fired or something like that. Or, Collective, your lover like left the Queen of Wands and he want to come back to you. But it's like, collective, your lover is still not telling you the whole story. Something, something. It's like, collective, this higher energy is literally a job or this is like a relationship. But anyway, balance. A situation needs more balance. Yeah, that's why somebody having a nervous breakdown because a situation needs balance. Or somebody needs bail money. Because a situation needs balance. Or in this family, in this family business, there is a need for balance. Somebody not having a nervous breakdown. Because something wasn't balanced. Somebody was overdoing their manipulation, lying, cheating, still and trying to get away with something. Involving someone's partnership, marriage, or business matters, or it could be enemies. information on new job give me what cash flow a large lump sum of money huh. or maybe the emperor or the king of pentacles hired the king of wands hired the queen of wands to do something and she could have messed something up Or something. Or somebody might help the police or the authorities solve a crime or something. Collective, you could be a medium. And because of the queen because the Queen of Wands is deceased, you're gonna help the detective solve this case or her parents or something. And collective, you might get paid for solving this crime or something. Because something happened to that Queen of Wands. So collective, because the Queen of Wands. You know, I don't mean to say it like that, but because of the Queen of Wands lifestyle or whatever she did to somebody, the Queen of Wands is always partying and playing games. So something happened to that Queen of Wands and collective somebody's family or some detectives is going to hire you because somebody wants to know exactly what happened to that Queen of Wands. Collective, you could be a medium and you're going to get paid.
So collective, for example, say like somebody's mother contact you. You a medium. The Queen of Wands mother is going to contact you and set up an appointment with you. Collective, the Queen of Wands father might be the one to call you back and threaten you. Because the Queen of Wands father don't believe in mediums. And he going to say, I know my wife called you, but you better not meet up with my wife. We don't need your help to solve, um, to figure out what happened to our daughter. Collective, somebody's going to be very, very mean and cruel to you because of your intuition. Yeah, it's like this person don't want you nowhere near them. Yeah, so something like that might happen. The Queen of Wands mother collective might contact you. And she wants you to, you know, tell her about what happened to her daughter. But that father might double back and call you collective. And he going to seize the opportunity to tell you how much he hates mediums and tarot readers. And you better not come to his house. He better not see you at his house. You better not do no mediumship with his, with his wife or something about his daughter, the Queen of Wands or something. Or something like that. Something like that going on. But I'm going to end it. So this is Blood Queen Tarot. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and or share. Um, collective, for some of y'all, I'm picking up too. Um, somebody could, it, somebody has something to do with that Queen of Wands disappearance. And that could be the person, Collective, that don't want you to do your job as a medium. And it could, it could have even been her father. That father could do something to that Queen of Wands. Somebody going to try to threaten somebody or intimidate somebody. Yeah. So. Collective, if you're a medium, just be careful because I don't know if you, you're like a known medium around your town or your neighborhood. And Collective, be careful because um, somebody could be guilty and they're telling you to stay away for a reason because. If you pick up intuitively that they did it, Collective, this person going to get caught. So, Collective, just be careful because somebody might try to, like, break in your house or intimidate you not to, like, take up a job to do a, to be a medium or something like that. Somebody might really try to intimidate you. Yeah. So, this could be a neighbor or something. Collective, somebody's wife might call you. And she don't know that her husband did this, but he did. So this man gonna tell you to stay a, to stay the f away from his wife, and don't you give his wife no tarot reading or nothing, cause this this woman husband could have had something to do with whatever happened to the Queen of Wands, something like that going on. But I heard collective this opportunity is not you. This is the person that's coming up against you. They're gonna seize the opportunity. To make sure you like shut your mouth or something. So just be careful. Yeah, so. This is, uh, did I say that already? So collective. I'm going to say it again. This is Blood Queen Tarot. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and or share. And collective, enjoy your weekend and thanks.